Hello everyone, my name is of course John Doe. Right here in Tokyo, Japan, we're going to do another edition of uh, the Ghost Layers Report. Now recently, several weeks ago, um, a Supreme Court decision here in Japan actually shocked a lot of permanent residents and foreigners here in Japan in general. When the Supreme Court clarified the law regarding um, long-term permanent residents of Japan being eligible for the uh, welfare benefits in Japan. Things like, you know, unemployment, food assistance, housing assistance, those type of things when you, you know, people are having a hard time in life. Now they clarify that in the law in Japan that all permanent residents are not in, entitled or have no access to any of these programs as the law clearly states that only Japanese citizens have access to it. Now, this doesn't matter if you've never even lived in Japan. If you are a Japanese citizen, you have access to it. Doesn't matter if you have not contributed anything to the economy, ever, you have access to it. But if you're a permanent resident, by law, no, nothing for you. Even if you've lived here, say, 25, 30 years, or even 7 or 8 years, or 10 years, and you've paid into the system, you've been able to maintain a job, you fall on hard times, technically, they can tell you to piss off. So that means you, you can find yourself in a situation here in Japan where you contribute, but you get no reward when it's your time needed. Now, for the majority of post-war Japanese history, the government has had a policy to tell local municipalities that permanent residents should be given these benefits when they need it based on human humanitarian grounds. And there's also some treaties, I believe, Japan has signed over the years that kind of locks them into getting you know, on these benefits. But, but domestically, by law, they don't have to. Now, why would the court go ahead, you know, and clarify this? Well, it comes down to the court case involving an elderly uh, Chinese woman who was denied her social welfare benefits. She was applying for some type of assistance. And it said because she wasn't a citizen, she's not eligible. Have a court, they finally gave it to her, but that's when the ruling was made. Now, I'm thinking here this is twofold, this type of thing going on, with clarifying the law like this. The first part of it is, of course, economic, as social democracy breaks down in, under capitalism, as it will, you know, and profit margin starts to go down, and they want to get more money. So how are they going to do this? Well, they're going to start going after more vulnerable people in society and foreign residents in Japan are a vulnerable group due to the law and how things are. So I definitely see in the future more people being denied welfare benefits when they need it. Second thing is of course unfortunately some xenophobia going on here and some straight up racism. Now I could perfectly see a situation or um, permanent resident Koreans or some generational here sometimes referred as Ainichi which is bit controversial to say, but not too bad. There's worse, you could say. But they've been here for generations and effectively are Japanese, but they don't take Japanese citizenship because they feel that if they do that, they'll lose their own cultural heritage in Japan, which is pretty true. And of course, Chinese permanent residents. I see a situation where a local municipality going into bureaucrats, they just don't like Chinese people. They just don't like foreigners in general. They're going to take a piss off because the law doesn't require me to do it. You see how that could go? So this is open to a lot of abuse. And, you know, will the government take any steps to change the law? Ah, oh, nah. Not in the current environment we have here, if it's far right-wing, fascist, neoliberal agenda being pushed through by fascist, good old fascist Abe, I don't see the law being changed at all. So now we find ourselves as foreigners, especially permanent resident foreigners like myself, in a situation where if we fall on hard times and we need the help that we paid into the system for, we could be told to piss off. That's a little bit of what's going on here in Japan. I thought this would be an interesting video to do. I hope you leave some comments in the comment section below. Spread this video around the internet. Get some discussion going. Let people know this is happening. If you never subscribed to me, hey, right here, click, 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 guys. Make it happen. Until next time, this is me, John Doe, here in Tokyo. Check it out.